Oopsie! I had planned to do this right on the hour of 2 p.m. my time and I got caught up doing all the finicky things in Canva and creating brand new images because you know that's what I feel like doing today. Welcome to my very last day of work for 2019. The last day of work for the decade. Don't really feel like I've been all that productive today, but that's okay that's what the last day is for if we were at school today we'd be like thinking the kids weren't going to be learning anything if we were in some big corporation today we'd be thinking that people weren't really going to be doing too much there'd be lots of feasting and food opportunities and maybe some alcohol opportunities so i wanted to make sure that we had an opportunity to send out the year and the decade together I am so incredibly grateful for this opportunity and I know it sounds like everybody this is not an, an award ceremony um, thank you post by the way but what an incredible opportunity we have these days to be able to influence people through the medium of social media hello Beck Harnett hello Yale you're awake yay I had no idea that this video series um, was going to become so popular Thank you, Beck. Merry Christmas to you as well. See, I turned up with my little Christmas hat on today. I had no idea that going to video live one day, uh, lamenting the state of my telecommunications ac access here where I live, would turn into something that people find incredibly useful and powerful. Um, and uh, it, it, this uh, having somebody be able to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly and encourage and inspire and infer, affirm, not infirm, affirm and help us as practitioners in private practice last the distance. And I think I had a period of time in the middle of this year before I went to LA actually, where I thought that, that this series had run its course and wasn't really providing any value to anybody uh, and I was so pleasantly surprised when I was in LA of how many people had said to me please keep them going we do love you watching them we do enjoy the gold nuggets of information that you share and just the, the being real being real about how hard it can be how lonely it can be how isolating it can be how confusing it can be how conflicting it can be when we love the work that we do, we want to be paid well and look after our families for the work that we do, yet there is a constant noise or language or um, culture around us that suggests that being paid well for what we do is unacceptable, that it's somehow shameful, and that it's something that we all need to come to terms with. The good news is it's not just health professionals, pretty much anybody I've ever met who works in service to others struggles with knowing how to ask for their fee, ask for the money. They feel like we have to go through this developmental stage of learning how to do that for a certain amount and then you discount that for a while and then you get comfortable asking for a larger amount until you get to the point where it stops being an issue for you. So if Asking for your fee has been a struggle in 2019. Can I encourage you that in 2020, if you continue to work on it, if you continue to become aware of it, if you continue to apprehend those things that that resistance is telling you about yourself, then you will come to a happier place and you will come to a place where you're feeling a lot more confident and a lot more comfortable and it, it actually becomes easier. So I had the absolute pleasure yesterday of working with my one-on-one um, -on -one coaching clients and we pull ourselves together every two weeks, which in Australia is known as what? A fortnight. And it was a great opportunity for us to review the year that has been, to have some reframing of the things that where we felt like we had fallen short, but then realizing we've actually not fallen short, just the way we wanted the outcome is different to the way the outcome has been achieved. So that's yesterday's post, if anybody's interested in going back and watching the video of yesterday. But it also gave us an opportunity to leave 2019 behind, thank 2019 for everything that has given us, and focus or start to get ready for what we would like 2020 to bring. 
Many of you will have heard of the activity of where you identify with a word, a word that is going to keep you grounded for the 12 months coming. And we did that activity yesterday. So we now as a collective have words that we can use to ground ourselves, to reframe ourselves, to encourage, inspire. When things get tough, we can help people come back to what this word is. So if you've never done this activity before, if you haven't heard of it before, the whole concept is that you think of a word or you find a word that you think you would like to be reminded of to help you know where you're headed in the next 12 months. And then I want you to find an image or a picture that explains that or helps you remember what that word is. And we want as much emotion in this as we can, positive emotion. We want this to be positive, not negative. We want to have something to aim towards, not something to run away from. So for me next year, my word is bloom. Now I could have chosen growth, but I've had that before. I could, but and I'm looking for a word that helps me feel less tied to time frame goals because I continue to struggle achieving goals in the time frames that I set myself. So I am choosing bloom. I and the the image I have is this beautiful magnolia flower that is blooming because it is about growth, it is about expansion, it is about showing off in some ways and I want to see come to fruition in 2020 a lot of things that I started over the years and we can serve more people, encourage more people, help people's lives transform in bigger ways, shinier ways, more brilliant ways and, and I really am quite excited about that for 2020. It's also giving me some ideas on some things I want to create for this community, some things I'd like to see happen amongst health professionals in private practice. I'm really excited to see that we've got some collaboration happening here in Australia with other private practitioner coaches and um, there's a conference happening and I've been invited to another networking event. So I am really looking forward to getting involved in that sort of stuff come 2020. So Aussie, 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 oi, 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 it's going to be fantastic. So this is my opportunity to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. I celebrate Christmas, so I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from me. If you're not a Christmas celebrator, I wish you a wonderful end of the year. I am hopeful that next year is able to bring you joy and peace and a sense of contentment, whatever that might be for you. So I'm looking forward to reconnecting with you towards the middle of January. I'm going to take some time off in a couple of hours and I'm looking forward to connecting with my husband and my son and my extended family. I'm looking forward to the bushfire crisis in my current region to be gone. Uh, so if you are so inclined, please pray for rain. We desperately need, these fires cannot be put out unless we have rain and a lot of it. So. Here's to 2019, thank you very much. And here's to 2020, looking forward to what you're gonna show us. Until then, go be your awesome self.